Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a topic video on should more superhero films be rated R? Uh, and if you guys have a, if for some reason I did not write the person who recommended this, but I'll have it in the description below uh, their name. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have any future uh, recommendations for topic videos, please let me know in the comments below. If I answer them, that means in a couple weeks they'll either be on Comic Uno or Comic Frontline because I double dose my topic videos. Usually for Comic Uno, I have them every Friday with my comic book reviews and for comic frontline I have them every Sunday or Monday today's Tuesday but hey it's usually Sunday or Monday I have the topic video but let's start talking about this topic uh, should more superhero movies be rated R that's a good question uh, now of course this question has been popping up because of Deadpool and everyone really enjoying that film and it was rated R as a superhero movie and, uh, of course I would like to see more rated R superhero movies, but it's not the first. I mean, we had Kick-Ass, who was also a rated R film, and Kick-Ass 2, and, and, uh, all these other films. I'm pretty sure Blade was rated R, too. So, uh, yeah, there's other movies that's been rated R. Deadpool's not the first one that's done it, but now it's in the public eye, and, and with, you know, m the Marvel Cinematic Universe, that's why people are acting, because superheroes, again, are, are being more, um, known now than when Kick-Ass, I guess, came out, uh, where Kick-Ass was a very underrated, uh, underrated and under-the-radar film, and more, uh, I, I mean, movie lovers know it too, but it was more of a DVD great seller than a box office, you know, great seller. But Deadpool is a radar movie that did well critically, and also it did very well in the box office, so that's why you have that question. Uh, and of course, I would like to see more rated R films uh, for superheroes if it's needed. Uh, I don't need to see a Captain America rated R film, and I don't really know why Batman vs Superman's DVD um, uh, cut, director's cut, is going to be rated R. Don't really know why, but I don't know if that movie needed to be rated R. But I think uh, with movies made like Wolverine, uh, I, I think it'll be a hard sell because we've seen Wolverine in other Marvel films as a PG-13 character and we had it with Deadpool, uh, so it's going to be a harder sell, but I think Wolverine is the character that would definitely do the best with a rated R selling, you know, more killing and I guess cursing too, uh, which will be fun to, to see with a Wolverine film. Uh, so that's something I would, would enjoy to see. Um, also, I guess Suicide Squad maybe would have been helped as a rated R film than a PG-13 film too. Uh, I'm actually surprised it's not a rated R film. So maybe if this, uh, if that movie came out like a year later, they would have decided to do a rated R film because they saw the popularity and success of Deadpool. Uh, but that's my thoughts, of course. I would like to see some rated R superhero films, but only if it's needed for the character. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know your uh, your comments in the comments below and your and your answers. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno and Comic Frontline. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below there are links for my comic book, like Father Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later. Bye.